you guys? Welcome back to your girl's channel. Today, you guys, we got Chuck Berry. John B. Goody? John B. Goody. Let's get straight into it. This one is live, 1958. New generation reaction, guys. 1992, baby. So, Chuck Berry. Let's see how he comes in. Let's see it through your favorite homegirl's eyes. And of course, like I always say, you guys be the judges down in the comments. Let's go. So make sure you guys show him love. <laughs> too and this is some funk this is some funky so i did not picture <laughs> i did not see him like uh, i don't know what i've seen but i did not he's feeding us that energy you guys not only that but he said he can hardly read and write but when he played that guitar when he played that guitar baby what do you say he does it like a um bell that means he is very good at the guitar. He's very consistent with it, too. He loves what he does, and, hey, that's playing the guitar. Although he cannot read and hardly write, baby. <laughs> baby this was groovy this was funk this was definitely him just him and that guitar showing out baby showing out low jesus deep down in louisiana close to new orleans way back up in the woods there stood a log cabin made of earth and wood where lived a country boy named johnny b good who never ever learned to read or write so well but he could play the guitar just like a ringing a bell and then when your mom and your parents sees it in you and other people see it in you it's just like hey you're gonna be something someday god bless you with hands baby he might didn't bless you so much reading and writing but he blessed you with these hands and that guitar and um i definitely feel like a lot of talented people are blessed and it's just amazing how they can show their talent in so many ways and their craft I mean, you've seen the footwork. You've seen him breaking it down and dancing. Only that, but he was playing the guitar at the same time. Multitasking, baby. This character is being, you know, from Louisiana. He, you know, he was, he was definitely, you know, illiterate. But that did not stop him. He still sees something in himself. He still made something of himself. 
and a if that's not a life lesson then i don't know what it is this is definitely a third eye this is definitely going through the struggle but having a talent and having a dream and loving what you do and making that become something in life you know um but like i always say it's easier said than done this was um but overall i definitely felt like he fed it to us and and even if you wasn't feeling the oldies music you definitely still had a you know vibe with him you know you still definitely had a vibe with him for the simple fact how he presented it but of course you guys let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about chuck berry but if you guys want me to stay on the music journey of him i definitely will let me know more songs down in the comments and i'll get to them let's go